Hey Scorpio, this is Michael with your June 2022 reading. We are going to be using astrology and tarot to figure out what this month has in store for you. I already have all of your cards here on the table, but before we dive in, I just want to thank all of you who have supported this channel with your likes, shares, comments, and subscribes. And I am so, so sorry that these videos are coming out so late. I actually was having a lot of technical difficulties and I was just having a hard time getting to the energy for a lot of the signs this month. And then I realized last night when I was there to upload the videos I had recorded, they had no audio. So I am now re-recording a bunch of videos, so I apologize, it's not anything personal, I'm not snubbing you or anything like that. Um, I've really been trying to get these out and I'm just trusting in the divine timing. I hope this finds you in the right place and time. Um, so thank you for your patience and understanding with me there. I do have all of my links in the description box down below. If you're looking for a reading or Reiki session with me, I know after this Mercury retrograde, we could definitely use some fine tuning. Um, and we are also kind of post eclipse season here. However, Scorpio, looking at your spread, I'm really excited for June, for you. We have this Eight of Pentacles that's showing up in the past, and I feel like you've been working very hard on something throughout uh, May or even before then. Like, there's been a lot of effort and hard work and study, and it's been a whole process of dedicating your energy towards something. And you have the sun, which is new life, new vitality, whatever it is you've created, it's literally helping you create a new life. I was going to say figuratively, but as I was about to say that, I actually feel like some of you, that there could be something with children, actually. <laughs> That's very, very interesting. Um, but it feels like you've just made something, something very beautiful is finally taking form or something very beautiful is finally ready or ripe. And with the astrology this month, Mercury is going direct. Mercury went direct on June 3rd and we have Saturn going retrograde on June 4th. So we have a couple of planets kind of shifting gears very closely together. And with Mercury going direct, it's almost like we're in this catch-up period and things that we may not have noticed before are coming ahead and it might require a little strength on your part throughout this month. You might need to stay dedicated, but I feel like you've already shown and exercised this dedication. I'm not so worried about that. And Mercury has been retrograde in the sign of Gemini and it also went back into the sign of Taurus, your opposite sign which is your sign of partnerships and relationships. And so there may have been some review on relationships and partnerships specifically as they relate to sharing or building something together because we did start this Mercury retrograde cycle in Gemini, your eighth house. And this is a very transformative energy. It's a very intimate energy. It can sometimes involve joint finances or investments. Um, it can also represent sexuality and death and rebirth, pretty much all the fun things we're told not to talk about. <laughs> and so there's been a lot of interesting things that have come up, and, and maybe you've been working behind the scenes in some way, Scorpio. And with this strength card, I feel like you have this mastery, and it is important for you to exercise composure this month. Maybe you're finding that this post-shadow phase of Mercury retrograde is, is bringing you a lot and it, it's very hard to focus or to take care of everything, but I feel like you have what it takes and it's already taking form. We have the Queen of Pentacles here as well. And it feels like you're building something. Again, all of this just reads as something is coming to fruition. Keep working at it. And with Saturn going retrograde in the sign of Aquarius, there's a lot of focus on home 
and on family and on roots. And maybe some of you are struggling to do that or you're really trying to plant your roots somewhere or with someone. And when Saturn goes retrograde, it can actually help relief or release, wow, release some of the pressure. Don't know why I couldn't speak there for a minute. Um, and it can relieve tension and help us focus on the things we really need to focus on. It, it kind of like takes away all the distractions and gives us this sort of tunnel vision. And so there's a big focus on home and family for you this month, and really for the next few months, because Saturn's going to be retrograde until October 22nd. And with the full moon that we have in Sagittarius, there is this coming ahead or culmination financially for you. And it is forming an opportunity with Saturn in the sign of Aquarius or a sextile is what we call this. And when I see the full moon forming the sextile again, it's kind of like causing this shift where it's, it's creating an ending. Full moons often represent the ending of a cycle or the completion of a cycle and then helping us focus or hone in on this Saturn energy, wherever Saturn falls. And it, it literally is like, okay, you now have this financial stability or you have the resources, you might literally be buying a home or, or looking into building foundations for yourself in another way. Maybe this is more of you just building a foundation to build your life off of if this isn't your literal home. It's finding a new sense of stability and security. And we do have the Ace of Swords in the future here as well, kind of the end of June into July. There are answers that are coming. There will be clarity. There may be a message. There may be some news that you receive. I actually really would like to clarify this Ace of Swords. I do wonder if there's something about you sustaining an injury, and maybe that's why the Strength card is here as well, actually. Um, just because we do have Mars and Chiron coming together in Aries, the sign of your health and routines and wellness, and that's going to happen right at the middle of the month, the day after the full moon. You may also need to focus a bit on your healing. And sometimes with Mars, especially as it pertains to the body, it, it could be something about accidents. So maybe you do need to quite literally build up your strength here. Anyways, um, with the Ace of Swords and the Page of Wands, there's exciting news and exciting opportunity and maybe even almost like a like flirtatious exchange I could get actually with this, which makes sense because we are still very much in this Torean energy, which is your relationships, your partnerships. And Venus is actually in Taurus throughout the month as well. Although, to be honest with you, I'm kind of looking at these energies and I wonder if there's something more about a business partnership. I'm definitely getting a lot of Leo energy with the Sun and the Strength card, and that could be Sun, Moon, Rising, or in this case, Venus. We also have the Queen of Pentacles, which is Earth sign energy, especially Capricorn, could also be Virgo or Taurus. What else do we have for Scorpio? We do have the Seven of Pentacles here. Let's 
something about thinking about your long-term future, which actually makes a lot of sense with the new moon that we have in Cancer at the end of this month. This is your ninth house, the house of broadening your horizons. This often pertains to travel or education or even spirituality and actually astrology, interestingly enough. There could be an offer that involves travel. You could be traveling. There could be news of um, something that's just very exciting and potentially bringing you into a new horizon here. The Seven of Pentacles is very much a, a card of contemplation, though. And it feels like... I almost wonder if some of you are looking at what you have grown and there's almost this sliver of a feeling that maybe was this all really worth it? I could kind of get that with the seven of pentacles here. I almost see this though as like, even though you have all of these things fruiting with the sun and the queen of pentacles. It's almost like, oh, I created this thing and now I have to take care of it. Now I have to harvest it. I'm just getting a slight feeling of discontentment with this card, um, which kind of is in alignment with this card, to be honest with you. It's not overwhelming. I feel like overall there's so many beautiful energies and there's a lot of clarity again this month. Um, I, I think with everything happening in your eighth house, uh, with all this Gemini energy, and again, Mercury will be entering Gemini again on the 13th, there is a lot that is becoming clearer. A lot of things that have been hidden or even secrets being revealed, but it's like you unlocking something, really. And Neptune is also going retrograde the same day that the new moon in Cancer is occurring. And Neptune will be retrograde until December 3rd. And this is also helping you find greater, greater clarity or insight with your creativity, actually, interestingly enough. And I, I'm, I'm literally looking at the astrology notes that I wrote. <laughs> For you, you can find all of them on Patreon. I have them for all 12 signs if you're interested and would like to support the channel in that way. Um, I literally wrote, greater, greater clarity relative to your creative visions and passions. Are you letting your dreams pass you by? And maybe the Seven of Pentacles here, especially with the Page of Wands and the Ace of Swords, it's like, I'm working so hard, but am I just trying to buy my freedom or do the things I really want to do? I I'm sort of getting that, that question here with these cards. And again, this new moon is squaring Jupiter in Aries, so there really could be something revolving around your health or the way that you take care of yourself or your routines. Don't overwork yourself this month. It seems like, honestly, though, it almost feels a little inevitable with the Strength card. I feel like there's a lot that you're finishing up this month. There's a lot that you're completing to help you shift focus on things that really matter to you. And it almost feels unavoidable at this point with the Strength card. And it's like, well, hold on, but also prepare to take care of yourself. What are you going to do to compensate for all this hard work or energy that you are expending this month? Uh, so definitely have some self-care planned if it's a bit of a busier or more chaotic month. What else do we have? Seven of Cups in reverse. So this isn't a traditional interpretation of this card, but it does literally make me just think of the question I asked you. Are you letting your dreams pass you by? And the Seven of Cups is very much a dreamy card. And in reverse, it is also this Neptune retrograde energy where we are clarifying things. We may be having to eliminate some options 
and refine our ideas. And, and that might mean narrowing down choices. Something is definitely coming into focus by the end of this month for you. We have the Ten of Cups and Chariot. You're choosing happiness. And you're working towards your happiness. You're not waiting for happiness to come to you. And maybe that's part of this thing with work. Maybe some of you believe on some level that you have to earn your happiness. You have to earn love. And you're already worthy of that. But you have to be willing to go for it. And that's just been a huge, huge energy for you this year. And there could be things really taking off with a relationship as well, maybe with a Cancer energy, especially if there's like a Cancer Leo cusp person. Um, there could be a new relationship here. But whatever your happiness is, I see you taking control of that. And Chariot energy actually is cancer energy and this is the cancer new moon at the end of the month we're still looking at the end of the month here and there's all this energy about you wanting to change home and, and your domestic life and that's definitely connected to the ten of cups here as well but with the chariot you're putting yourself out there if you've been withdrawn and you're single, if you're in a relationship, this could be about moving forward with a partner and going someplace that makes you both happy. But overall, it's like not waiting to be invited or given permission to do the things you want to do, to build the things you want to build. I want to pull an animal card for you now, Scorpio. We have the Phoenix. Ooh, a little rebirth here. And I really do think of like kind of the Scorpio Sagittarius cusp, really, and we have the Sagittarius full moon. It's like this rebirth. I think of the Phoenix rising from the ashes between these two signs. And this card also represents the root chakra. So there really could be changes to your daily life. And very often we, we think of the root chakra as material. And, you know, having our physical needs met, that's a part of it. The root chakra really pertains to our sense of security. And when you look at other cultures, the sense of security doesn't come from what you have. It comes from the sense of community or, or family or, or tribe. How can you feel secure? That's something that's coming. And, and there's this rebirth, this change that's happening and when the phoenix comes, it's often this message of something is just changing. You're transforming. You can no longer be the way you were. And we did have a full moon eclipse in your sign last month on the 16th of May. And this was a total lunar eclipse, so it was very, very potent. And so I do suspect there is this transformation that is continuing throughout this month and maybe there was a lot of clarity or revelations that are starting to reveal themselves to you this month as well but overall i see this beautiful rebirth i see you finding this fire again and maybe even something coming back that you had given up on but this feels more like a dream i don't want to say that this is a person necessarily because it feels like this is brand new energy too. It's like you, you 
were working so hard you might have lost focus of what you were working towards. And this thing that's coming back is this greater vision, this greater clarity. And we have the moth, transformation. And this actually came up for, I think it was cancer. Um, and the moth really is about this transformation and moths evolved to track starlight and the moonlight. That's how they orient themselves. But because of that kind of, what's it called? Predisposition that they have, they are often drawn to false light or destructive flames, the moth to the flame. And so it's really important that you cultivate this inner light, this inner vision, and don't get distracted. Find the fire inside of you first. But you are transforming, and you are very intuitive with this energy, with the moth energy. And there's like a silent strength with the moth card. They have to break themselves out of their cocoon in order to gain the strength to fly. And I feel like that might be energy you're embodying this month as well, because it feels like you're, you're finishing something. You're on the verge of this transformation. And it, it's so, so beautiful. And so keep it up, Scorpio, whatever it is that you're working on. I'm, I'm very excited. I think you're about to see this through to completion, and it's going to lead you to a lot of happiness. And sometimes when you, you get there, it's almost like that grass is greener sort of moment, but don't let that sully the celebration for you, okay? There will always be something new. There will always be something shiny to pursue. Don't feel like you always have to go, go, go. You can appreciate the moment and appreciate the successes you are having. And those are all messages I have for you, Scorpio. I, I do hope that this was helpful. Be sure to hit like and subscribe if it was and you haven't done that already. Uh, let me know in the comments down below what it is you've been working so hard towards. It feels like it's really coming ahead here and that's very, very exciting. You can also check out the videos for your rising or moon sign if you haven't done that. There will be a playlist shortly at the end of this video. And of course, all of my links are in the description box down below if you'd like a reading or Reiki session with me. And I will see you all in the next video. Take care, Scorpio. Have a happy and blessed June.